Sharing Google Docs is probably the most exciting feature that Google offers. To share a document, you can do it in two ways. You can do it from your file menu or this big blue share button in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on my share button and you'll see that I have my share settings. Currently, this document is owned by Shannon Mersand and Shannon H. can edit it. There are three levels of permission you can give collaborators. If you give them can view access, that means they can only look at the document, they can't make any changes to it. If you give them can comment access, that means they can make comments on the document. And if you give them can edit access, that means they can do comments and make changes to the document. I'm going to add another collaborator by typing the person's email address in the invite people box. And I'm going to give this person can edit access. Sometimes you want to share documents that people can view and make copies of, but you don't want them to make changes to the original document. In that case, you would give them can view access, and they'd have to make a copy of the document, which I'll show you in just a moment. I can notify people with an email message, and I can add a particular message to this email. Then you click Send. You'll see that this document now has three people that can edit it. There is a limit of about 100 people that can share a document, but the chances of you reaching this are pretty slim. I click Done, and now more than one person can be logged into the document. I'm going to go back to that account that I just shared with, and when I go into my drive, I have to click on Shared with me to find that document. Copy of Reflective Journal is the name of the document, and I open it up. And I now have two different people in the same document. If you see up here in the right hand corner, it tells me who else is in the document with me right now. I also have this show chat feature. This allows for real time chat collaboration between partners. And you'll see that both people editing the document have access to this chat window. Once you're done chatting, and close the window, the chat history is no longer available. I can choose to be notified by an audio sound when a new chat arrives, or turn it off if I need to work in a quiet environment. Now both of my editors can make changes to this document by simply clicking and typing into the document. Both editors can also make comments to make comments, you need to show the comments feature. You'll need to minimize your chat window. When you highlight text and click on comments, and then comment, you can make a comment. Then you click comment, and that appears for both editors of my document. Switch my view again, and I can now see that this comment has been made. When I click on the comment, it'll bring me directly to what the comment is on, and I can choose to reply to the comment. And then when all of the commenting is done, if I click Resolve, the comments disappear. The ability to make comments allows for asynchronous work to happen on a document if students can't work on it at the same time, and the use of the real-time chat feature allows students to work on the document and have a conversation at the same time. There are many reasons that you might want students to collaborate on documents. You may want them to be performing peer reviews. Perhaps you'd like to have them taking notes in class, but everyone's afraid they won't catch everything. If you have more than one student working on a note document at the same time, they're all getting to work on the notes and making sure that nothing is missed. Perhaps you'd like them to brainstorm about a project, or create a collaborative creation like a presentation or a joint writing effort. Perhaps you want to do a bell ringer with your students where you share out a document to the entire class and everybody's responsible for adding something to that document. You'll notice that these same features also work in presentations where they can share their document, change the access, and enable the chat feature. You'll notice the chat feature is only available when there is more than one editor in a document. And again, you can also add comments to a presentation. These features also work in the Google Sheets products. 
When working with shared documents, it's important to remember that the owner of a document is the one who controls whether it exists. By this I mean, if the owner of the document deletes it, it's then removed from the shared folder of anybody who's working on it, whether you've moved it out of the shared folder or not. Anyone who is just an editor who deletes a document will find the document disappears from their drive, but remains in the drives of other users. When working within the same domain, the owner is able to switch ownership to somebody else. This only works when you're working within the same domain. If you have a Google Apps for Education account, you will not be able to switch ownership between the Google Apps for Education account and a regular Gmail account. So I am the owner of this document, and I'd like to transfer my ownership to BookFairy. I click on Can Edit, and you'll see a new option is Is Owner. If I try to share, if I try to change the ownership to smersand at yorktown.org, and I save my changes, it'll tell me that I cannot transfer ownership outside of my domain. A reason I might want to transfer ownership is if I'd like to clean out my drive and I no longer want a document, but I think that other collaborators may wish to keep it. It's also important to note that anybody with can edit access is able to change the access level of other people in the document. The only thing they will not be able to do is assign ownership status. If I decide that I no longer want a person to be able to edit, but I would like them to be able to still view or comment on the document, I can change their access at any time. I'm going to switch both of these users to can view access and then I'll show you how to make a copy. This user no longer has access to make edits to this document. All they can do is read it. You'll see that although they can see comments that were made, they're not able to make new comments. You might want to share out documents with can view access for things like instructions for projects you'd like students to work on, or perhaps a worksheet you'd like to share out through their drive. When users open the new document and they see they can make no changes, one thing they can do is make a copy so that they'll be able to make their own changes. To do this, a user clicks on File, Make a Copy, and renames the document. What that process does is create a new document in which the editor now has full access to make changes to the document. That person can now share out that document, which now has no collaborators on it, and they can share it back to the teacher for grading.